Hello, welcome to the Mark Janad Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm gonna talk about and provide a Kali Linux tutorial for hackers specifically. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. All right, so let me give you an overview first, right? Kali Linux, which is formerly known as Backtrack Linux, is an open source Debian based Linux distribution, which allows users to perform advanced penetration testing and security auditing, right? It runs on multiple platforms and is freely available for you cheapskates out there, you cheap hackers. <laughs> Just kidding. So it's freely available and accessible to both information security professionals and hobbyists, right? This distribution has several hundred tools, configurations, and scripts with industry specific modifications that allow users to focus on tasks tasks such as computer forensics, reverse engineering, and vulnerability detection instead of dealing with unrelated activities. So this, di this distribution is specifically tailored to the needs of experienced penetration testers. So therefore, all documentation on this site assumes prior knowledge of and familiarity with the Linux operating system in general. So here are some of the Linux features, right? It is free and always will be, supposedly. <laughs> Look at that RAM right there. Kali Linux is completely free of charge and always will be. You will never ever have to pay for Kali Linux. Next one is features and open source uh, Git tree. The Kali Linux team is committed to open source development model and the development tree is available for all to see. All the source code which goes into Kali Linux is available for anyone who wants to tweak or rebuild packages to suit their specific needs. And then it is compliant with the file system hierarchy standard, right? Since this distribution adheres to the file system hierarchy standard, Linux users can easily locate binary support files, libraries, and so on. It has a wide ranging support for devices. Kali Linux supports a wide variety of hardware and many wireless devices as possible, including USB based devices. And it also includes a custom kernel that is patched for injection as penetration testers. The development team often needs to do wireless assessments. So uh, the kernel has the latest injection patches included, right? Before I proceed, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Right now, hit that subscribe button and the like button. So what are the pre prerequisites, right? For learning Kali Linux? Let me give you an overview. So first you gotta get started, right? With Kali Linux, the installation process. Kali Linux can be installed in several ways as a virtual machine using software like VMware or VirtualBox on bare metal hardware by flashing an ISO image to a bootable drive as a live system without installation using a live distribution. Now for beginners, using a virtual machine is recommended as it's easier to set up and experiment with. Now, basic usage. Once installed, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Linux command line interface. Now let's get into some of those interfaces right now. So open the terminal emulator to access the command line. Now you're going to want to learn the basic commands for navigating the file system, managing files and running programs. You're going to also want to understand users and privileges in Linux, right? And, and we may get into a little bit of Linux a little later. So here are some of the most essential commands to learn uh, in Kali Linux, right? You have the LS and that is the list files and directories. You have the CD, that's the change directory. Uh, you have the PWD, that's the print working directory. You have the MKDIR, that's the make directory, the RM, remove files and or directories, CP, that's copy files or directories, MV, that's move or rename files and directories. So networking tools, okay, that, that, let's get out of that. that. Let's get into networking tools now. So Kali Linux includes many networking and security tools, some important ones to learn. You have the IF config, that's the view and configure network interfaces. You have the NMAP, that is network scanning and discovery tool. You have the Wireshark, that is network protocol analyzers uh, security tools. Uh, Kali Linux, right, comes pre-installed with numerous security and penetration testing tools. So as you progress, you can explore tools for information gathering, vulnerability analysis, wireless attacks, web application testing, uh, exploitation, right? Exploitation because that, you, you know, penetration testing, ethical hacking, blah, 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 right? And then we have password cracking, forensics, and then there are some learning uh, resources in regards to Kali Linux. So to learn Kali Linux effectively, you can start with basic Linux and networking concepts. 
If you're new to these areas, you can use free online resources like the Try, uh, Try Hack Me. For hands-on uh, practice, you can explore Kali Linux documentation and official tutorials. You can practice in safe, controlled environment using virtual machines or dedicated test networks. Now, remember that Kali Linux is a powerful tool designed for professional use. Always use it ethically and legally and ensure you have proper authorization before testing any systems or networks you don't own. So what are the prerequisites for learning Kali Linux? Well, basic understanding of Linux, right? Familiarity with Linux operating systems and command line interface is beneficial. Networking, uh, next is networking knowledge. A solid understanding of TCP slash IP and general networking concepts is required. Three programming skills. While not strictly necessary, familiarity with bash scripting and basic knowledge of Perl or Python is considered advantageous. Number four, system requirements, right? Ensure your computer meets the minimum hardware requirements, which include at least two gigabytes of RAM, which is really, really four gigabytes recommended, right? Number five, cybersecurity fundamentals. Some understanding of basic cybersecurity concepts can be helpful, although not mandatory for absolute beginners. Number six, ethical considerations. It's important to understand the ethical implications of using Kali Linux and use it responsibly. So for those completely new to these areas, it's recommended to start with basic um, basic Linux skills, networking fundamentals, right? Consider studying certifications like the CCENT, CCNA, or the Network Plus. Uh, then you then you know you can um you know introduce yourself to like introductory programming concepts, particularly in Python. So it's worth noting that while some sources suggest specific prerequisites, others like the book Learn Kali Linux 2019. Uh, assume no prior knowledge and guide readers from introductory concepts through to more advanced techniques. This suggests that with dedication and the right resources, even beginners can start learning Kali Linux and gradually build their skills. So what are the best resources to learn Linux before starting with Kali Linux, right? Because Linux is kind of like before, right? Kali Linux is a subset of Linux, right? So to learn Linux before starting with Kali Linux, here are some recommended resources, right? The better you understand Linux, the better you will understand Kali Linux, right? So online resources, uh, online courses and tutorials. You have the Linux tutorial by Free Code Camp. This, this tutorial covers the basics of Linux, including command line usage, file systems, and networking. Two, you have Linux for ethical hackers. That's the Kali Linux tutorial. This YouTube course covers the basics of Kali Linux, including installation, terminal usage, and tools for ethical hacking. Number three, Kali Linux tutorial for tutorials point. This tutorial provides a comprehensive overview of Kali Linux, including installation, configuration, and various tools for penetration testing and ethical hacking. So let's now get into the books. You have Kali Linux and Ethical Hackers Cookbook, right? Which this book provides a hands-on guide to using Kali Linux for penetration testing and ethical hacking. Number two, Linux Basics for Hackers. This book covers the basics of Linux and how to use it for ethical hacking and penetration testing. So we talked about the plat the practice platforms, right? But let's let's cover them just a touch, touch more, right? We have the Try Hack Me, and this platform offers free and paid resources for learning ethical hacking and penetration testing including kelly linux number two cybersecurity training by tcm security academy this youtube channel provides free cybersecurity training including kelly linux tutorials okay now communities and forums right you're going to want to join like the reddit kelly linux uh just you know form right uh this that community is dedicated to discussing kelly linux and ethical hacking number two kelly linux forums the official forums for kelly linux where you can ask questions and get help from experienced users so you're going to want to make sure the majority of, of of kelly linux right is the beginnings making sure the installations are right making sure that you have the prior knowledge down pack and then the rest will take care of itself okay the rest will take care of itself you'll, you'll get the hands-on experience but you're going to want to know the basics and want to do your homework as much as you can before you get into it so that's what i have for today please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button uh uh you know you're gonna, in my opinion, the best programming language is, is Python. But if you if you want to explore, you can you can do that. Stay safe. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.